Hello, Goranges are on view. If you're watching this after Christmas, well, you have to be watching this after Christmas, then um, Happy Christmas been gone. Ghost Christmas has been laid to rest. If you're of a certain age and generation and disposition, then you may well have had your children come to stay. By now, they may have left. You're probably pleased to think. How dare I say that? They've drunk the house dry. They've broken things and they've complained about the lack of deconstituted yak milk in your life. But anyway, they, they may have gone. You may never want them back. But if you do, how about this table? You can have a cracking Christmas around this table. Get in early, ready for next year. This is from a country house in Kent. Uh, it is lot number 1155 for our sale on the 9th of January. Our first sale of the year. With it from the same property, 1156, long set of eight Regency dining chairs with drop-in seats. They call them drop-in because they drop in, just like that, dropped in. Nice and easy to reupholster. Sabre legs, because they look like a sabre, a sword. There we go, sabre legs. Uh, in mahogany, not a bad set of chairs. From the same house. 58. 11.56. Six, thank you. From the same house, not a bad looking dresser base. Lovely color on it, look at that. That is lot number 11.63. Good, rich color, nice state of polish. Bit of character in the uh, patches and wear and tear and stuff, but it's been nicely redone relatively recently. So there we go, three furniture tips for you from the property in Kent. Walking through from another local property, a more eclectic selection of furniture, such as this. Look at this, this is lot 1110. We'll take off the Citadel Chaos Black spray paint that our stuff is left here. So this is um, sort of high Edwardian arts and crafts type furniture, heavy Art Nouveau influence. It's not marked, but it sort of screams Shapland and Petter. The uh, furniture makers who very much lean towards this style and this form of decoration often refer to as an amaryllis, this inlay here with the roots and the bulb and the flower. So rather smart that, lovely copper mounts, 1110. Which way should we go? Let's go around this way and have a look here. A pair of Chinese elm tub chairs with pull out footrest with rollers. I, think that's, I don't know if that's a massage thing, what have you. That's 1126. And other nice things like this stick stand, 1125, good long stick stand there. Nice. Elsewhere, paintings, we haven't been hung yet because we're not ready to go on view because the staff are all off and doing their thing. A local artist here, Peter Messer, paints in egg tempera. So he mixes his dry paint in with egg yolk, egg white, egg white, and paints it on very quickly and carefully because it dries very quickly. And then you do this sort of scratching technique and what have you, very artful. Uh, and he includes almost always little bits of Lewis It'll, some sort of back alley and the railway station, all sorts of things in his works. Um, rather curious that. That is 1735. You fancy going somewhere completely different. 1728. Yes, this is something. Is um, Stormy Night Light. And it's, uh, from memory, it's New Zealand. Ah, you want that? Yep. Lots of it. There is, there's plenty of it. If you haven't quite got room for Stormy Night Light, lot. Uh, 1728, then I think by the same artist, Simon Williams, Evening Reflections, Auckland City. Mm. There we go, not quite so, uh, taking up quite so much room. And if you really want the Diddy one, 1727, the yachts. So uh, there we go, something more contemporary. It's not all old party stuff here, but most of it is. <laughs> uh, deco style lamps, funky vintage lamps, 1151. Cushions with geese flying on them, 11.45. The geese that got away. The geese that got away. Nice secessionist style cabinet here. So we looked at the Art Nouveau one earlier, not long ago, 11.15, this one. Um, this reflects more the sort of Austrian um, secessionist influence. Very high quality mahogany inlaid with these little mother of pearl squares. Yeah. And then again, very sort of typical Austrian style. And then all burwood inside, look at that, bird's eye maple, I suppose. So uh, there we go, something different. Uh, across the way, if you want more traditional English furniture, lovely, great big, early Victorian secretaire bookcase in mahogany, 1117. Why do we call it secretaire? Because you pull out the drawer, you press the buttons, you find them. Oh, and that's smart, isn't it? There's your secretary, your secretaire for doing your writing in drawers and what have you. Stamped, 
Wilkinson, W and C Wilkinson of Ludgate Hill. So uh, there, quite a nice bookcase. Next bit, great big baker's wrap, 1118, French I would say, brass mounted wrought iron, traces of old red paint on it. I suppose around about 1900 or thereabouts. That is lot 1118. Mm. So interesting furniture, as always, more in the warehouse, which we're not going over to. Um, so let's go and look and see what we've got in the uh, smalls. So here in the smalls, usual mixture. Um, well, back to traditional dining, which again, you probably had enough of, but 1286 uh, is a rather smart canteen of, what have we got here? It is signed up. Well, Sheffield stainless steel with plated handles. Mm, um, shape. Yeah, it's, it's a smart, sort of an Albany type pattern. Looks to be uh, complete. You've got the fish down the bottom. Not expensive these days, but um, but nice and clean and ready to go. I like this. 1269 is a Zogroscope, they're saying. Um, a Zogroscope? A Zogroscope. Wow. Now, I thought a Zogroscope was some sort of slide viewing device. This, to me, looks just as much like a me, shaving though. mirror, really. Got You've got a very toy. smart mirror there. <laughs> You've got a nice magnifying lens. You've got a telescopic height, uh, adjustable height adjustment. Hmm. It's strung. Um, estimates 100 to 150 seems reasonable to me. Probably completely useless to most people. But what has that stopped anybody? There's some pretty, at? Well, there's some glasses throughout. Yeah, there? there's some what nice glass you? throughout. So yeah. this is fun. I always like these. Yes. Um, this is a glass lifter, or so you you drop this into the liquid. Do you? Yep. So it's a hole there. Yes. So if you've got a, a, a I don't know a keg of booze so or suck, or a suck it say up. a bowlful, you drop it in. So the the liquid rises up to the level of the depth of whatever. And then you put your, you thumb, put your thumb over the top, yeah. and then you lift it, and then once you remove your thumb, you, you drop open the your liquid mouth into the mouth. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Twelve fifty two. With it, you right. get some air twist stem glasses of varying ages and qualities and there are a few more lots of glass throughout yeah. the cell like that with these three engraved with hops i suppose like 1256 mm, nice. a lovely array here of yes these are fun, they? glass mm. a really nice mixture from these little sort of slightly small but looks georgian nice broad foot cordial there um rather globular almost like a lace maker's piece there mm. some nice colors yes I mean, rather lovely I'd love to have a set of those but just one on its own so a nice sort of mixture of glassware that's not 1268 yeah. so there's some finely faceted glasses up here 1259 mm. George the third examples you like this box didn't yes. you this is 1256 partridge wood elegant because of this sort of feathering in the grain now this is the key work Yes, yes, it does. There we go. Oh, that's so, very pretty. Mirrored interior, original interior. It's a French lock. Mirrored interior for what? Um, Why is it looking mirrored? at yourself. What? At the bottom is mirrored as well. Oh, yeah. Well, just okay. for looking pretty then, I guess. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure it would have been lined with some more um, like toilet devices. Nice. And you get with it, you get this box with beautifully divided inside. Look at that. Yes. Artful uh, divisions inside with, yes. again, nice sort of feathering. Can you get that in there? There's a yeah. sort of feathering in that. Tim, but that's what Very makes nice. it the partridge wood, I think. Um, so two nice boxes for your money, 1258, 120, 180 estimate, not mm. expensive, but then they aren't usually. Some nice quality frames here, French Empire ones, flanking a Tracy Emin print. Mm. Uh, and then next to that, something more traditional, Oliver Clare typically paints birds, a bird's nest with some eggs and some fruit, but, but there's primroses, which is rather nice. Um, in good original condition, look, the original canvas hasn't been relined. Um, lot 1732. Think I put three to five hundred estimate on that. Where would you like to go next? I, was, I actually quite like that. You like that because that's Kenneth Denton. But that's quite a nice touch and he's sort of like a, a, a cheaper alternative to Edward Sego. This is an oil on board. Yeah, I like it's a that. little bit dirty. These black specks and what have you would probably just come off with a with a good wipe over. Same. Nice lot on the back. Mm. The title, Stacy Marks label there, dated 1979 from when they retailed it. The Haystack. The Haystack on the Marsh is the title. It'll clean up a little bit, look a bit better. That's 1650. Yeah. Uh, round here, another canteen, funnily enough. Pots, tins, paintings, tobacco jars. Lovely Dutch decanter box, look at that. Oh, that's that beautiful. That has a arm that moves so it's inlaid to the top with a shell and then inside two glasses lovely lot of decanters look there we go oh, it was at Tuvis many years ago by the looks of things um 
with the original gilding and the, all the stoppers there. Rather nice, 1308. Yeah. Another good box here, 1294. Little tortoiseshell tea caddy. Again, looks to be in reasonable order. I was looking at those uh, plates, they're fun. Mm, if you like that sort of thing, yes. Okay, they're pretty showy, aren't they? So I'd expect a Meissen mark and I get one. There's the Blue Cross Swords of Meissen. Right. Um, or Dresden, perhaps, in this case, because perhaps they're not quite as fine as Meissen. Um, you, you see these in the larger version, showing here. Yeah. Two in the lot. Um, and then with it, I suspect you're going to get, this is a whole mixed lot of porcelain. Ah, okay. With it, you've got this Augustus Rex mark cabinet plate or lace plate with a pierced border. And you get some figures and you get some other bits mm. and it's all in 1293 and it's a re-offer so it's probably in at 70 quid right which goes to show how that sort of thing is not expensive and why is it not expensive because it's not overly sought after lamp. essentially lamps showing here lamps 1316 is a tiffany star one it's got some age but it has had a bit of a crush here it's been pushed down at some point um but quite a nice looking the base one's next door rather fun. next door are they Chinese? These are 1318 and they are Chinese. They are what we call archaistic design, meaning mm. they're bronze and they look like they're ancient bronze dug up from somewhere. But in practice, they're probably 100 years old or so. And next to it, you've got a cherub. Oh, that's fun. In probably composition or spelter or something. Bronze composition, 1319, the cherub. Nice. Right down here, we've got fire buckets, not 1420. It's quite popular decorative items, those. Some curious artwork over on the walls there. Oh, yes. Yes. 1722 down to 19. Something for everyone. Gosh, that's um, quite something, isn't it? Well, that is scarf, madam. Of course it is. Of course it is. Yeah. A little frame. It throws people. Do lift that up. Yes. And look, signed in the corner. Gucci. Gucci. There we go. That's really fun. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I think I'd have to take it out and wear it. Yeah, because the brown is part of it, isn't it? Gosh, that's the nice. margin is there, so presumably the whole scarf is that all there is and ready fun. to go. Does it have a lock number? No, it doesn't yet. It might not be in the sale yet. Mm. It might be that it's awaiting so that's... trial. You have various artworks, cricket, oh, setting trees you. on fire, and well, it's sort of a nightmare because look, he's asleep. He's got a candle. She's giving him a thrashing by the looks of things. And then what are these two? They've got a rope. They're going to abduct him. So it's all going mm. on there. It's some sort of. Um, mm. It would be an illustration for a book that would nice explain bottles. everything. Big bottles, empty Big bottles. now because it's post Christmas. Yeah, very nice. Round here. Yeah. Lot 1423. That's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, this caught our eye, didn't it? I yeah. mean, that is sort of Chinese silk work of the standard that I suppose we'd think that's 1930s, 40s even. Very pretty. Um, but, but rather cute, isn't it? As yeah. a jacket, silk lined. It's kind very of interesting, isn't elegant. it? And, and then. Very pretty. Yeah, mm. just just unusual that. So um, yeah, there we go. Chinese clothing. Um, I think we may have had enough booze, but New Year's Eve is coming. If you're watching this before New oh, Year's Eve, oh, is that Eve. full? That is a vacant. It says ah. Nebuchadnezzar, forty quid. It's vacant. It's empty. Sadly, um, for those that want to drink it, happily for those that did drink it. Well, careful of the glass. Oh yeah, right, glass on the floor. Okay, watch that. We've got Beatles lot um, thirteen eighty four. Nice two framed lots. One with the glass out, but. Um, Various beetles going on there, rather fun. And then, of course, there's a little bit of silver, there's some jewellery. There's JCJ pottery vases with dragonflies on lot 1348. There are Costa Boda, what was his name? Ole Bronzen is the man, apparently, who did that. Nice bit of glass vase there, 1350. Pretty. If you like the leek, there's 1346. There's a lovely opalescence mm. to it. The can laurel, laurel or something like that. Anyway, we will have looked it up, no doubt. So there's vintage, vintage port after Christmas. <laughs> late in the day, but there we go. I guess we all still need to restock. Um, so yes, lots and lots of goodies. Nice clock here. Look at this, Patrick of Greenwich. Nice case. Um, looks like the pins are out. Handy. We lift it up. We have a look. Mm, is that the period original movement? No, I'm not entirely convinced that that's all original. That movement. Um, I think there's been some alterations. At the least but it's a rather nice case and dial that does look to be good that's 1364 should you want to go to ramsgate there's a ramsgate sign there <laughs> and a dover Ferrari one up here and matching that sort of nautical um coastal theme we've got a nice lighthouse timepiece with um barometer lot 1369 
topping it off with some lovely Those are pretty Neapolitan well, gouache, yeah. grottos near Amalfi and uh, the classic sort of Neapolitan coastal view of the ruins and what have you. So there we go. As ever, we've got an array for you. If you didn't get what you wanted for Christmas, now's your opportunity to compensate yourself and uh, come along and buy something. We're going to be on view, sales and ninth, so we're on yes. view the... Uh, so we're six and seventh. The we're open on the third, but we're on view six yes. and seventh online already. If you're sitting at home, nothing to do. Have a look. Send us some condition requests or curiosity questions, what have you, and we'll answer them when we get back on the third. And uh, we're open for business, taking it again for more sales. Another year all over 2023. We'll do it all over again. More of me rattling on and uh, happy new year to all. Thank you very much. <laughs>